startled myself by shooting the gun. <laughs> Howdy, folks. I'm Score, the Crimson Renegade. Welcome back to Borderlands. Last time we uh, defeated Re uh, Reaver, got 10 cans of skag meat for Earl. We helped out a little claptrap clap buddy who gave us access to a little we to weapons cache. He gave us some crap weapons, but oh well. And now we're heading to take on Krom, our next, basically our next major boss, essentially. Even though he's not going to be much harder than anything we've fought so far, the only thing that's going to make him challenging is the fact that he's uh, he's hiding behind a turret. He's, got, he's on a turret again. You know, just like the multiple turret that we uh, had to deal with uh, earlier. So he's going to be kind of a pain in the ass there, but... Other than that, he's not really that hard of a boss. He's, again, as far as bosses are, are concerned, as far as just, you know, direct up one, fighting a boss, Skagzilla and the Roid Rage boss from uh, Sledge's Safe House is probably the hardest two bosses of the game. But anyway, we're heading to the next boss, get our next, the next uh, vault piece from Krom. I've already uh, been by the uh, uh, shops to l drop off the gear that I'd gotten from that path that I took over to the right. So now we're going to go to the path on the left. And go handle Krom. Anybody over here? Nope. Eh, that's too bad. Okay. Let's cross this bridge. More barrels. So you gotta be careful not to get hit get hit on them. Or get hit by them. However you want to look at it. Here comes some company. We're gonna get out there. Those guys burn up. There's a, uh, I'm saying there was a glitch shotgun here. He's still kind of glitched. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> his, route, his AI route is stuck. Alright. Oh, hello. I'm going to pop that. I missed. That explosive bill too far away. Uh, I knocked him down. I don't think I killed him, but I knocked him off the uh, off the edge. Shoot me from where? Oh, behind me and above. That's right. There's one guy that shoots from up there. I can't get up there. There we go. Yeah, he's down below now because I knocked him down. I'm getting thrown at by buzz saws from psychos. All right, so I can handle those. Right there. There we go. Got him. Oh, there he's out there. See, that'll help. Well, that helped. Still doing good. Those guys will burn up. Oh, that bruiser. The other bruiser I think is already dead. No, he's still down there. Damn. There we go. Okay, you are really annoying me. Just go and die. Damn it, I went behind him. go. Oh, somebody over there still. Somebody behind that rock still. <laughs> I don't know why I get so much, so much amusement out of that. I don't know if I can get a grenade over there. Oh, shit. Grenade. He walked right into it. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, that was so worth it. That was so worth it. Chuck a grenade out there. Like, oh shit, grenade. He ran right into it. <laughs> oh, that was, oh, it was so good. Oh, that was satisfying. 
Okay, I'll pick up his money. Which luckily didn't get burned up in the uh, fire explosion <laughs> of the grenade. <laughs> Alright. Walk right over here. And here's our entrance to Krom. He shot a claptrap. I am not happy with him. He must die! And he will. Won't be easy, but I'll get the job done. Alright. He's got like a double he's got like a double turret up there. He can fire both bullets and rockets. I just hit the goddamn rock. Fucking really again? That's not what it was rocket you said. Spray. I'm trying to I'm not sure if I'm actually hitting it. I don't think I'm hitting it at all because I'm not seeing any any damage pops. Yeah, I don't think I'm hitting him. Yeah, I'm not hitting him. Okay, alright. Alright, I was hoping I could actually maybe, like, cheese this fight a little bit. Because usually the, the cheese way of fighting is behind this rock. Use a rocket launcher, or if you're good with a sniper rifle, maybe you could do it with a sniper. And pop Krom on, that t on the, uh, the turret up there. But I'm not having much luck there. Okay. All right. If you can't cheese the fight, here's the other option. He's going to be firing two different types of ammo. He's going to be firing bullets. He's going to be firing rockets. The rockets are easier to dodge, obviously. But here's what I recommend. Finding cover while he's shooting bullets. When he's, when he's firing rockets, that's when you move. Because, again, the rockets are easy to dodge. The bullets are a little bit harder to dodge. So stay behind cover the best you can. Use the... Uh, uh, the barrels to your advantage. At least stops firing his uh, barrage of bullets. All right, now we move. Okay, cover, 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 cover. Okay, this is good cover here. If I were able to hear their conversation, I don't know. Got this weapons cache here while we got a moment. Shotgun. Nope. Cap there. Okay. Got him. Alright, that was a couple of rockets. Let's get over here. Throw a grenade. Oh, I'm out of grenades. I'm going to throw a grenade at that bruiser there. Let's move up some more. He's probably firing rockets again. Yep. Time uh, for another volley another another bullets. So or more volley of rockets, rather. Uh, uh, that's okay. That's all right. That's fine. Just killing him will bring my shields right back up. All right. He's going with rockets first. Let's find we're safe behind here. Now he's going to bullets. As soon as, as soon as he starts firing his bullets, we're going to switch to rockets. I'm going to run up that hill there to the right. He's changing. When you, when you get this close, you hear him talking. Anytime he... Now that we're this close, we can go punchy mode. go okay there we go i made it look a little bit more confusing than it was worth basically what i was doing was I, when i was down there at that cover right there i would listen for his, the gunfire <clears throat> when he stopped firing his bullets and he says something usually he's switching from guns from, from bullets to rockets and when he does that when he's switching from bullets to rockets that's when you run up this hill because if you don't try to run up this hill while bullets are firing at you he'll shred you pretty quickly and the same is true when you're going up this path leading up here bullets will shred you pretty easily because they're moved pretty quickly rockets are a little slower they're quicker to run away from 
So if you're able to hear him fire the, the, the chain gun, stay behind cover. And then when you hear him stop and you, you may hear rocket fire or he stops for a long enough period of time, that's when you need to move because he's probably changing to rockets. When you're close enough to actually hear Crom talking, my recommendation again, uh, listen to bullets, listen to the chain gun fire. When he stops firing chain guns and he says something, he's probably changing to rockets. That's when you need to move up and get, try to get close to, uh, to his base up here. And he drops this uh, revolver, this uh, sidearm here, which not any good. Open this up. What do we got here? Crap shield, crap shield, crap grenade, crap grenade. Alright. And then let's open this up. And here's our next piece of the puzzle, or this piece of the uh, vault. A low hum emanates from within, and it's warm to the touch. You found another piece of the key without my help. Or did you? I'm always watching you, friend. Be careful. Others are starting to see their own opportunity. All right. And with that, we have done, we've done everything we need to do here in Crom's Canyon. As we've done everything we need to do here in Crom's Canyon. Uh, so now we have... <clears throat> to turn this mission into Earl at Earl's Scrapyard, this mission into the New Haven at uh, the Bounty Board, and then this one here at the, uh, uh, we go back to Tannis, I believe, get Crom's piece of the Valky and return to Tannis. So we need to go back to the West Commons West, go back to where Tannis is and give this to her. Um, so what I'm going to do is going to be some backtracking again because we, we can't uh, fast travel away from this particular point. Uh, I'm going to fast travel to... Probably to, to the Earl's Scrapyard first to give him this mission because I don't think there's anything else we need to do at that point. So I'm going to fast travel back to Earl's Scrapyard, get him this food, and then to uh, New Haven to give uh, the Bounty Board this mission, and then Russ Commons West because I have to walk to Tannis' place. So I'll meet you guys once I fast travel to Earl's Scrapyard. So until then, right back. All right, I'm back here at uh, Earl's Scrapyard. I'm here fixing to talk to Earl again. What you want? I got your shit. What you want? With an almost feral look in his eye, Earl snatches the cans of food. He wrestles one of them open, grabs a spoon, and begins eating the contents cold. It's obvious that he's forgotten you were ever here. This is fine with me. I'll take my twenty-one thousand in cash and my nine thousand, my nine thousand experience, and be done with him. All right. And good rich. And we got a challenge to complete the rich get richer too. All right, so that's nice. And now we need to head to New Haven to turn that mission into the Bounty Board. So, once again, I'll meet you guys in New Haven at the Bounty Board to turn the mission in. Be right back. Alright, here I am back at the uh, 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 New Haven Bounty Board. Let's turn this mission in. Jed joined the bandits, took the name Reaver, then murdered his own father. Then you killed Jed? Well, that's a lot more horrible than I'd imagined. I'm in shock, I think. Here's your payment with a little extra for going above and beyond what I asked for. I guess it's all for the best, but please, never contact me again. You're the one that posted a mission on the bounty board, and like I deliberately contacted you, but whatever. Alright, that one's done. No more missions here at the bounty board. Nothing else here from Helena Pierce or anybody like that. So let's go ahead and grab the mission, the uh, missions again. And next piece is at Tannis. So I will transport a, a fast travel to the West Commons West. Uh, what's probably going to be closest to her? Probably the outer yard, maybe. Uh, underpass looks like. Okay. So I'll fast travel to the underpass. And I'll drive to Tannis's place. You've already seen where Tannis is, uh, Tannis is, so there's no really point in me again showing the track, uh, showing the uh, path getting there. So I'll meet you guys once I actually get to Tannis. So once again, be right back. Sorry for all the cutting. All right, I'm back. Here's Tannis. Let's see what she wants. What can you do for me? This artifact fits together with the other one you bought me earlier, like puzzle pieces. I've seen other Iridian artifacts that work like this. Apparently those aliens really like puzzles. Once all of the pieces are brought together, the object activates. You should find more pieces like this one so we can put them together. Together. She's a nut. 8,500 cash, 6,400 experience. 
And our next mission is to cross the drawbridges and talk to Taylor Cobb outside of Janus Town. We'll be going back there first. <clears throat> I'm reading traces of Iridian artifact activity out of the out of the trash coast, so we're going there next. It's across the drawbridges to so talk to one of the claptraps there. Pierce has already been given has already given you the necessary credentials. It's a little shady, but I've arranged for a meeting with a bandit named Taylor Cobb. The bandits of Janus Town control access to the trash coast, but he says he can get us in. So go ahead and mark that mission. And we'll, uh, <clears throat> again, I'll see you the backtracking. I'll head back to... Uh, Alright, we're going to be doing those first as well. So I'm going to head back to the fast travel station. That is... Uh, I'll head back to, the fa back to a fast travel station. Uh, get... Uh, Go to New Haven, get the missions from uh, Helena Pierce that she wants, and then run over back, run back over to the middle of nowhere bounty board, and get the. Uh, uh, come on, give me the right weapon. Here we go. The uh, the missions from the middle of nowhere bounty board, and then we'll see where we go from there. So, I will meet you guys in uh, I suppose in New Haven, so uh, you guys can see what uh, what uh, Helena Pierce has for us. So, see you in New Haven. Okay, I'm back in New Haven. Let's find out what Helena Pierce wants. I hope you're avoiding the negative element around here. Smoke signals. Investigate Old Haven. Hello. There are new missions available at the middle of nowhere bounty board. Thank you. All right. And we like the beacons. Now that the bridges are open, we've noticed four columns of smoke rising from Old Haven. We believe these are bandit distress calls, since they don't have free access to EchoNet. It could be a trap... I'm at her claptrap. Shut your trap, claptrap. I'm okay. Anyway, back was that? What was I saying? All oh, right, I was reading. It could be a trap, but we can't risk ignoring a problem that's worse than the bandits themselves. I'm offering a reward to anyone who will scout Old Haven and find out what's going on. So I mark that mission. That mission, and we light the beacons. Uh, reactivate both beacon towers. While Dahls still maintained a strong presence on Pandora, they operated two interplanetary beacons used by interstellar craft for navigation and communication. Recently, bandits have taken up residence around the beacon stations, shutting them down in the process. Somebody needs to get out there and clean the bandit infestation out of those stations and reactivate the beacons. Okay. Both of those, I believe, are in the same place, which is called Old Haven. Uh, it's, gonna, it's, a, it's actually a pretty tough place because the enemies there are actually pretty strong, numerous, and um, the, the downside is they're, they're strong. And new, they're strong. I mean, their their level is about the same as mine, but they have very potent weapons. Usually, a lot of them are elemental, and they have very good defenses and shields and gear. Um, the that, which makes that's what makes them tough. The upside of that is they usually drop pretty decent loot most of the time. They drop they drop loot a lot, but pretty decent loot as well. I probably won't be picking everything up. That I'm, I'm already not going to be using everything that I pick up, but I'll be picking up a lot of stuff. So, if nothing time. else, it's really, really good for money grinding because mm -hmm. almost every enemy that you'll encounter will drop some kind of gear. Uh, okay, leading into the middle of nowhere bounty board. So let's run to the run to the, run into that middle of nowhere. Poof! All right, we've poofed to the middle middle of nowhere bounty board. I think I don't think I've gotten any gear. I guess some things just make really useful, so I just thought it real quick. Okay. Alright. Alter Ego, the new religion. So we got the second part of that mission now. You know the old Lynn Abbey up on the Overlook? That place has been abandoned since we pulled out of Old Haven, but some bandits recently took the place over and are now pro. pro Proselytizing, as good as I'm going to be able to do, <laughs> and handing out pamphlets to anyone who'll listen. I doubt we'll. I doubt those nut jobs have really found religion. We need to grab some of those pamphlets and find out what they're really up to. Hmm. Spelling issue. And in the, in the first line up there is, uh, and handing out pamphlets, and now at the bottom it says how it just says pamphlets. There's no H in the pamphlet at the bottom. I guess uh, not everything is perfect. <laughs> Collect pamphlets from the old bandits at Old Lynn Abbey. All right, let's mark that one. 
and a bug problem. Collect sulfur samples and kill Helob and Widowmaker. A couple of mini, couple of mini bosses here. Given the plant growth I've observed outside of New Haven, I suspect there is a component in the sulfur springs which acts as fertilizer from Pandora's native flora. To test my theory, I need samples both from the retching seeps and the fetid cauldron. I do it myself, but each location is guarded by a nasty spider ant. Eliminate these nu nuisances, and I'll be able to conduct further tests without need for assistance. Alright. Let me give you a rundown on the missions that we've got so far. Uh, at Old Haven, we have to. There's some smoke signals we have to do. Basically, there's going to be some, um, uh, like fire pits that have like a metal shield over it. We have to close those shields. It sounds pretty simple. It actually is. Um, but there's going to be enemies. What makes it difficult is the enemies that are there. Like I mentioned earlier, there's ones that have a lot of good gear. So that's what makes it hard. There's also another mission that we'll be able to, we're going to be doing when we get to Old Haven that we can get in Old Haven. So we'll be holding on to that. And we won't be doing that just yet. We're going to stay here in the bus commons east and do this mission here. Go find those pamphlets. Uh, but it's not too dissimilar from what we did a few episodes back when we did the uh, getting those uh, bottles of booze for Car uh, Crazy Earl by killing the uh, bandits in a specific area. Um, there's going to be like a large fenced in area with bandits all over the place. Kill all the bandits. Every time you kill one, there's a good chance it's going to drop a pamphlet. Pick up the pamphlet. Done. Do it six times. Mission accomplished. No big deal. Uh, this one here, we have to go to two specific places in uh, uh, Most Commons East. Interact with like a giant, uh, what looks like a giant uh, nest for spider ants, obviously. Interact with it. And a really, really big, uh, I say really, really big. It's, it's at least the size of a badass um, uh, spider ant is going to pop up out of the ground, depending on which one we go to. If we go to Betching Seeps, it'll be Widowmaker. If we go to Fetid Cauldron, it'll be Helob. And we have to kill that, uh, kill that large spider ant. Um, the problem is, they are extremely well armored, and unless your level is just like substantially higher than them, if you try to run them over with a vehicle, it will destroy your vehicle every time. So the strategy I'm going to use there is I'm probably going to I'm going to be in the vehicle I'm going to gun them down with the vehicle at least thin their health to a really low number and then run them over. But if you try running them over with full health, like I said, unless you're substantially over leveled, it'll destroy your vehicle every time. This is the main mission. We'll be doing that in a little bit. And then relight the beacons. There's a couple of uh, beacons at Northridge and Overlook, and we're going to just you know there's going to be some uh, bandits we have to fight. Uh, on the way to just flipping a couple of switches, that's all we got to do for those. Um, as far as where they're located, where is Alter Ego located? Um, it is way over there. Okay, bug problem is to the north of that one. And we like the beacons is up into the left a little bit. That's where the first one is. There's also another side mission down here called Green Thumb. That's going to lead us into an area over here as well, so... I think what we're going to do first is going to be uh, the new religion, because this is all—it's all going to be in. Uh, just pick up those six pamphlets. It's going to be just killing some bandits and picking up some items, and it's all going to be in this area right here. Nothing, uh, nothing got to chase down anything. So I will meet you guys at this point uh, in a vehicle. Or, or, I mean, I see in a vehicle. I'm using my vehicle to get there, but it is inside a fence that I can't take my vehicle through. So you have to go on foot for that. But I'll meet you guys right at this point. So see you when I get there.